have anything prepared to say. Um, I forgot the teleprompter as well. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm not as, I'm not the orator, and I don't know how articulate I can be, I'm just speaking from my heart. Um, I'm third generation, so far as I know, taxpayer in America. Um, I think my dad, if he was alive, and my grandfathers, if either one of them were alive, would be, would be shocked about what's going on in our country. And, um, you know, I've never been a legislator don't have a law license and so there's a lot I don't know I'm sure but, but I, I know what I know and I know that the grassroots in this country needs to rise up I have I have children that are grown now and in their 20s I don't have grandchildren yet but God willing I will and in a few short months here really since September of, of last year, because uh, I'm not trying to put anything on one political party, I think, uh, I think when you spend trillions of dollars in a few short months um, without representation, I mean, yes, we have, we have elected representatives in Washington, but when they eagerly admit that they haven't even had time to pass a bill, that's going to affect not just our generation, I'm 54 years old, but my children's generation and their children's generation, something is drastically wrong in our country. And, and from, where, from my perspective, from where I stand, you know, it appears to me that the corruption in Washington not only in our legislative branch, but in our administrative branch, in our judicial branch, has gotten to the point where, where the people are no longer being represented. When you, when you have propositions, like we saw in, in California where my son lives, uh, and, and let's face it, I mean, California uh, is a real cross-section of America. You've got people there from, from all backgrounds, and, and California it has been a very productive state, now that's changing, but when a legislative uh, judge can overturn the people's will uh, from the bench, that was never intended by our founding fathers, that was never intended by our Constitution, and we have got to stand up and start paying attention. I don't think that when the Tea Party really happened uh, back in whatever the year was, 1773, that it was being led by 20-somethings. I think it was people in my age bracket. That's not to say we don't want the help of every age bracket, but by God, we got to stand up. You know, we've got to stop this. One of the emails that one of my employees sent me this morning, I found out that a week ago, the new administration's Homeland Security Department said, essentially, that I am a terrorist. 